Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these super simple ice cream cones, perfect as part of your summer sugar cookie mix. I'm starting with a standard ice cream cone shape, or you could even use a snow cone shape if that's what you've got. You just need something pointy in the bottom and round on the top. For the cone, I'm using a piping consistency ivory royal icing fitted with a number 2 tip, and I'm filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color that I have here in a squeeze bottle. For all the squeeze bottles in this video, I have them fitted with a coupler attachment and a number 4 tip, but a regular squeeze bottle and a nozzle will work just fine. Use your scribe tool to get all the icing towards the edges and pop any air bubbles. I'm going to make three different ice creams in this video. For the vanilla ice cream, I'm using a white piping consistency royal icing fitted with a number 2 tip, and I'm filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color. While it's still wet, I'm going to add some rainbow sprinkles to the top for a little bit of color. For the mint chocolate chip ice cream, I'm using a mint green royal icing and a piping consistency fitted with a number 2 tip to outline, and filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color. For the strawberry ice cream, I'm using a deep pink royal icing and a piping consistency fitted with a number 2 tip to outline, and filling it in with a flooding consistency of the same color. To get that nice strawberry ice cream shade, I've added just a touch of chocolate brown to my pink. It makes the pink look a lot less artificial bubblegum and more natural strawberry. I'm letting these flooded layers dry for about 6-8 to eight hours or overnight before moving on to the details, although this isn't necessary if you have any problems with color bleeding or humidity like I do in my area. But since we're not drawing on these cookies with edible markers, you only really need to let them at least crust over. For the cones, I'm using the ivory piping consistency and number 2 tip again to re-outline and then give the cones a cross-hatched waffle pattern. For the vanilla ice cream, I'm using a stiff consistency white royal icing so that it holds its shape and a number 35 star tip, and I'm adding a nice big ruffle going up and down at the bottom of the ice cream to finish it off. For the mint chocolate chip ice cream, I'm using a medium consistency dark chocolate brown royal icing, and I just snipped the end off the piping bag. I didn't bother with a tip this time. And I'm just piping random little squares or rectangles around the top portion of the ice cream. The bottom third is going to be covered with ruffles, so don't bother putting any chocolate chips there. For 
Then we'll finish it off with some stiff consistency mint green royal icing and a number 35 star tip with some ruffles along the bottom. For the strawberry ice cream, again I'm using a medium consistency red royal icing and I just snipped the end off my piping bag instead of using a piping tip. And I'm just making some dollops for the strawberry chunks. And I'm just covering the top portion again because I'm using a stiff consistency pink royal icing and a number 35 star tip to add the ruffles along the bottom of the ice cream to finish it off. Now, I want to use this opportunity to give you a little crash course in cratering. I used a medium consistency for both chocolate chips and the strawberries. A medium consistency, or what a lot of people call a 15 or 20 second consistency, is somewhere between an outline and piping consistency and a flooding consistency. It's what a lot of people use instead of making two different consistencies to do their cookies. Hence why it's called a medium consistency. It's like a happy medium, basically. Note how thin I made the chocolate chips. That's fine. No cratering. And then I tried the same thing with the strawberries. I made them thin like the chocolate chips, and I actually ended up liking them a lot more than how I originally filmed them how they were nice and poofy. Again, no craters. Now, what are craters? I've talked a lot about them before. It's where your icing sinks in the middle and develops holes or cracks, especially in tiny spaces. Sometimes it can work in your favor. It actually doesn't look too bad, but other times it looks awful. So, because I tried to make these super puffy strawberries with a medium consistency royal icing, I got holes in some of the strawberries. These are craters. What can you do to avoid this? Well, you can make them thin, like I did with the chocolate chips and the other strawberries that I tried. But the main problem was my consistency. My icing was too thin. If I want super puffy strawberries, I need a thick icing that is going to be able to hold up. A piping consistency would be more ideal. You may have to use your scribe tool to shape them a little bit, and give your cookie a little bit of a shake to round out the top of the icing, but you shouldn't get any craters. The thinner your icing, the more susceptible you are to craters. So if you're doing any lettering, or more flooding on top of already flooded layers, Use a piping consistency or a medium consistency on the thicker side. I'll be sure to do a video on consistencies in the future, as I know this could be really confusing, especially when you're just starting out. Hopefully I'll get to that sooner than later. So thanks for watching guys! If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Sweetheart Baking Experiment here on YouTube for more cookie vision in the future. If you'd like to support my cookie adventures, you can do so through Coffee or Patreon, which you can find the links for in the description. I'm always on the interwebs, so feel free to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. My name's Cookie, and I'll talk to you next time.